the mental tenet of her cyclic principles is that uh, you are talking about um, cycles moving through time. Uh, I know that many other um, uh, um, technical analysis theories um, have the complicated issue of, about talking about cycles in trading days or cycles in calendar days. Uh, we don't have that complication. We are always talking about cycles in calendar days. Calendar days are all that counts um, when it comes to her cyclic principles. Okay, and um, let me come back to, um, to an, an earlier question. I received an earlier question um, um, saying uh, to send us a, as a private message, but let me share it with everybody, saying there are a few other cycle analysts who use different time frames uh, to Hearst's time frames. How can these be used in Sentient Trader? These can be used uh, really, really easily. Sentient Trader performs an analysis um, on the basis of uh, what's called a nominal model, which is a collection of cycles. We can look at that nominal model and uh, we can edit it. Um, so if I edit the current chart model, um, you can see here is the current uh, nominal model. Cycle number one, cycle number two, going all the way down to cycle number 11. Sentient Trader considers up to a maximum of 11 cycles per um, chart. And um, you can see the cycles here are Hearst's uh, nominal cycles, 18 year, 9 year, 54 month, um, all the cycles that I've just been talking about, 18 month, 40 week, um, 20 week, 80 day, 40 day, 20 day, 10 day, 5 day, and so on. Um, you, can, um, you can test your theories about the market as I um, do often when I analyze the um, S&P 500 because I consider a 6 year cycle in there. And I can show you the nominal model that I use to do that. Uh, if I go to um, edit model, I can select from a list. And um, if I look at the six-year nominal model that I created, then here is, in fact, the six-year nominal model, which has as its longest cycle, the nine-year cycle, then the six-year cycle, uh, the 54-month cycle, and, uh, and so on, going all the way down. Um, there we go. Uh, you can also, of course, take a look at the uh, nominal models of the... Um, of the intraday cycles. Um, uh, let me just see if we uh, if we take a look at um, one of these. Um, you know, a one-minute chart will analyze cycles up to 10 days long and all the way down to uh, three minutes in length is the shortest cycle. So there are always uh, 11 cycles sent in trade will analyze that is uh, more than adequate. And using the process of inheritance from one chart to another in the intraday analysis, um, the very short one-minute charts are, in fact, using information from the daily charts. So, in fact, uh, that single chart um, uh, has the information, if it, if it needs it, um, going all the way up to 18 years. Um, although, of course, uh, um, trying to consider an 18-year cycle when you're looking at one-minute resolution data is mind-boggling, to say the least. Um, so, uh, I, I hope that, that answers that question. Um, uh, Jose has asked about the S&P 500. Um, let, me, uh, let me open an S&P 500 chart. And um, uh, let me open workspace. Right, let me see. Where is my um, S&P 500? Oh, I think it's called U.S. indices, and um, so we can take a look at that and um, and mull over that question. Um, if there are any other uh, questions, please pop them into the chat window. I'm happy to answer them. Um, uh, we've been uh, going over an hour, which is, of course, the time at which we are aiming to keep these trader chats too. So... Um, um, so if you are uh, rushing off somewhere, um, thank you very much for joining me on this uh, trader chat. I hope that this presentation of how you can apply your own analysis and uh, expertise uh, to Sentient Trader um, has shown you how you can use Sentient Trader as a tool um, to very quickly um, uh, take your own and convert it into um, genuine and um, uh, um, reliable uh, trading signals and, uh, and an analysis which matches uh, your own expertise using the application of, uh, of your advanced human brain, we hope. Um, so thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, that covers the, the, the basic material. 
And um, um, so I wish you good luck in the markets out there. Um, don't forget, if you're a first-timer, our first-timer offer is coming to an end uh, next week. If you're a first-timer today, you need to ask for your code um, today or now during the webinar. It will expire um, tomorrow. And um, we are bringing that uh, promotion to an end. It's been a very popular one. We'll bring it to an end. Thank you very much for joining me. And um, I will, I, I will uh, be here for um, several minutes uh, uh, further to answer any questions as they come in, uh, either about the topic of the day or any other topic, uh, anything at all. Um, so while we, uh, I see there is a, another question from Peter. Re workshops will the onla online workshop replace the proposed workshops in uh, Melbourne? Um, uh, Peter, that hasn't been confirmed uh, yet, but um, um, the online workshops have proved a, a you know, a really, um, a, 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 we've had a, tr a really, really big response to it, and um, so we are going to be. Um, uh, sort of testing the whole workshop process and we're going to be um, working out um, whether the online workshop can be as satisfying as the face-to-face -face, uh, in-person workshop. If we believe that it approaches the uh, level of, uh, um, sort of satisfaction of the face-to-face -face workshop, then yes, we probably will uh, replace the face-to-face -face workshop with the online workshop. Um, if not, then uh, we are certainly still considering uh, doing face-to-face -face workshops. If there is the demand, um, if there is a demand for it, then, uh, then we will definitely we will definitely be there. So we haven't confirmed yet uh, what is happening with the workshop in Melbourne, although we will be uh, we will be really very very soon. Okay. Um, so uh, if there are any other questions, please put them into the chat window, um, or if anybody wants to talk to me, then uh, go ahead and talk to me. And um, oh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't ever turn on my turn on my video. I was going to say hello to everybody. Turn on my, turn on my video as everybody's going and say hello. Uh, you should see a box down at the bottom right of your screen. This is me. Hello, I'm real. I'm sitting here in Italy, where it's a, well, it's a warm Italian day. Um, so there I am uh, in the video. Um, I quite like using this video just to say hello and say goodbye again. Um, sitting watching me is not very exciting. But um, it's uh, useful just to uh, create more of a personal connection, which I do like to do. So um, uh, thank you very much for joining me. I hope that uh, you've enjoyed today's Trader Chat. And uh, I'm going to turn the video off again now. <laughs> I'm not very good in front of camera. I'm much better behind camera. I'm going to turn it off. There we go. And if there are any other questions, please send them through. In the meantime, let's take a look at, um, let's take a look at, at Jose's question about the SP 500. Uh, I'll see some other questions. Joe, the pieces are really starting to come together. I'm really pleased to hear that, Joe. Um, that's great. Um, Charles, uh, message to Paul, great. Collective uh, 2 launch um, is progressing. In fact, um, we completed a series of um, fairly critical tests in terms of response times and all that kind of thing. Um, so, uh, so we are moving ahead and um, it is imminent. <laughs> It's, in, it's imminent, um, so we're looking forward to that. And uh, so let's have a look at Jose's question. Uh, let me just go back to that about the S&P 500. He was saying, uh, following the same reason of the S&P uh, positioning last 18 month cycle in August. Uh, right, okay, so positioning it over here. Do I like that scenario? It would mean 18 month low for the spring of 2012. Um, Okay, well, yeah, I mean, that, uh, that is, um, that is a, a really interesting idea if the 18-month uh, cycle low was over there. I can't create an expert model on this chart at the moment because I've applied a, um, I've applied a, um, a custom nominal model with an expert model of its own to position the six-year trough. Um, so I'd need to build a whole new one from scratch. It'll take me uh, about 10 minutes. But I tell you what, um, I'll, I'll look at that Jose, and, and, uh, and perhaps we can speak about it next week. That'll be um, that'll be really interesting. So you're suggesting positioning the um, the 18 month drop here in August, um, which would be um, much uh, more correct in terms of the duration of that cycle. Then it would give us an inverted cycle um, 
somewhere around the 80-day level or even the 20-week level uh, preceding that. And um, then, now oh, that break down, then we'd look at the 40-week cycle probably right over there. And it would, of course, push out the next um, the next 18-month uh, trough to over there. That's, uh, that's a really interesting uh, question. I'll tell you what, Jose, because we're wrapping up for today, um, I'll... Um, I'll do an analysis. Um, I'll do an analysis like that, and let's um, and let's have a look at it uh, next week. You never know. I might even uh, uh, put it into our SG outlook if it if it looks like uh, if it looks like a really interesting and uh, promising analysis. Um, that's a, that's a, a really interesting idea. Okay. Um, Yes, or on the forum, absolutely. And I see, um, I think I missed a question there. What is the best end-of-day data feed in the U.S.? Um, um, there are two uh, data feeds that, that we use for the U.S., and um, um, uh, I'm not sure which is the best, uh, to be honest. Uh, the one that we, that we use is uh, Reuters data, and in fact, from within the, from within the um, software, you can sign up for Reuters data, and you can um, you can activate the Metastock data downloader from within Sentient Trader, because Reuters uh, data link um, provide us with um, uh, provide Sentient Trader users with a 30 month um, free trial of their data. So that's one to look at. Reuters data link. Um, let me put that into the chat window. Okay, if you have a look at that, uh, you can read about Reuters data link. Um, the other data that we use uh, very successfully is uh, Kinetic through NinjaTrader. Um, let me find the website. You can go and have a look at them. Kinetic through um, NinjaTrader is a little bit more fiddly um, because you have to you have to open NinjaTrader, but with Reuters data, you have to open up the Metastock data downloader. So I don't know uh, which is more fiddly, um, but here is um, no, no, that's not their website. Okay, well, uh, let me take you to. Um, okay, this is all getting a bit complicated. We've got to sort of a forum. It wasn't really what I wanted. I don't want to go to support. I just want to go to the front page. I must have a front page, and uh, I can give you a link to. Um, Somewhere here they've got partners. Anyway, if you take a look at, um, at NinjaTrader, then through NinjaTrader you can access uh, Kinetic. Um, I must be able to find a page. There we go. Uh, this is Kinetic Data. We find Kinetic Data very reliable. It is free, um, which is also great. End-of-day data is also free. So take a look at that, Sentient Trader. Those are the two we recommend. You can also um, you can also use uh, Yahoo data. You can use um, any ASCII data, um, and so on. All right. Um, so I hope uh, that answers your question. Uh, the best are definitely either Reuters end of day um, uh, Reuters day data or um, or Kinetic. All right. Um, so if there are any other questions, uh, I'm I'm happy to answer them. Um, in the meantime, um, thank you very much for joining us um, to everybody who has. It's great to see. Our, our